If I could only give you one tip for achieving a cinematic look with your GoPro footage, it would be to use the exposure control feature. I use it to expose all of my GoPro footage. It's simple, convenient, and produces fantastic results. In today's video, I'll show you how to use it in various filming scenarios to achieve the most cinematic results. So first and foremost, what is exposure control on GoPro cameras? Exposure control, also known as exposure lock, is a feature on GoPro cameras that allows you to lock your camera's exposure to a specific area in the frame. In other words, rather than letting the GoPro decide how to expose the shot, you can choose which part of the frame the GoPro should lock the exposure to. This can be very useful when filming in a difficult lighting situation with a high contrast between highlights and shadows. Now, how do you enable and use the exposure lock feature? To enable exposure lock, hold your finger down on the back screen until a small white box appears, then drag the white box to the location where you want your GoPro to auto expose, tap the white box once more to lock your exposure. It's very simple and for the most part, I prefer to expose for the highlights. Generally exposing for the highlights makes the image look much more professional, so I always place the white box on the brightest part of the image. Now, why would you want to lock the exposure rather than letting the GoPro do it automatically. The main advantage is consistency in terms of exposure between shots. When you lock the exposure, it will not jump around when you move the camera from a dark to a bright area. You have complete control over the exposure, making everything look much more professional. In contrast to when shooting everything on automatic, when you move the camera, the exposure will always change, making everything look much more amateurish. It doesn't mean you should always lock the exposure because in some cases such as vlogging or action sports it's impractical however if you want to take your gopro shots to the next level you should always consider locking the exposure with that out of the way let's move on to a few crucial settings before enabling exposure lock the first is iso minimum and maximum don't set it to iso 100 and 100 this forces the gopro to mainly rely on shutter speed for exposure because high percent performance is heavily dependent on shutter speed this can be very problematic. As a result, I recommend setting the ISO minimum to 100 and maximum to 400. This will give the GoPro enough headroom to properly expose the shot while still providing great high percent performance. Next, for shutter speed, I recommend leaving it at automatic and letting the GoPro decide what's best. Finally, the most important setting, the EV compensation. When you enable exposure lock prior to locking it, you'll notice an EV compensation icon on the right or left which can be used to over or underexpose that specific point by up to two stops. This is very useful if you're shooting in an area with a high contrast between shadows and highlights. In most cases, when exposing for highlights in a difficult lighting situation, the shadows will be pretty crushed. However, using EV compensation, you can overexpose the shot to restore some information in the shadows, making the shot appear more balanced. Personally, I never overexpose my highlights by more than one stop and by the way when I say highlights I mean when I place the white box on the screen to the brightest part of the image. However, I only overexpose the highlights when shooting in a scene with a high contrast between highlights and shadows. If I'm shooting a landscape or in a location where everything is equally bright, I won't even bother with EV compensation. So let me now demonstrate how I would use EV compensation with exposure lock in real life situations. So for example, let's say I want to take a shot of this Thing, balcony thing. I'm going to expose my GoPro for the highlights, but now we have an issue on the left side of the shot right here. As you can see, it's a bit too dark. Now what I can do is to take the EV compensation and then overexpose the highlights by half a stop, 0.5, or even one stop to make the shadows a bit brighter. Or even if I want to, I can go up to two stops to make the shadows even more bright. But as you can see now, the highlights are a bit overexposed. So I think in this example, plus 0.5 or plus 1 works the best. However, if for example, I want to take a shot of this beautiful landscape, I'm just simply going to point my GoPro and then I'm going to put the white box on the highlights or the sky in this example and I'm going to lock the exposure. That's it, I'm not going to do anything with the EV compensation because in this example, there is no need. 
I don't have any high contrast between shadows and highlights or in other words the shadows aren't really dominating in this case so I'm just exposing for the highlights and that's it simple as that to summarize, learning how to use the GoPro's exposure control feature will make your footage look much more cinematic and professional. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, let me know down below, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.